Here's an example of 2D forces, including tension. A spider weighing 1.5 times 10 to negative 3 newtons is supported by two threads attached to the ceiling as shown. One thread A makes an angle of 45 degrees with the vertical. The second thread B makes an angle of 30 degrees with the vertical. What are the magnitudes of the tension in the two threads? Let's start by drawing our free body diagram. There's our spider. We've got its weight, or the force of gravity, acting downwards. And we know that that is going to be 1.50 times 10 to the negative 3 newtons. It's acting downwards, and if I define this as my positive y and my positive x, that's going to make this a negative 1.5 times 10 to negative 3 newtons. I then have a tension acting at 30 degrees, and this is my Tb, a y component, and an x component for that tension. So this is Tbx. It's equal to a positive Tb sine of 30 degrees. I've got another tension over here acting at 45 degrees. We're going to show its y component here and an x component here. This is Ta and my Tax is equal to a negative Ta sine of 45 degrees. And just for clarity I'll put that. It's a negative Tx because it's acting in the negative direction. Let's again look at the sum of the components. So the sum of my x components, and I'm presuming it's in equilibrium, so I'm setting them equal to 0. In the x components, I've got a negative Ta sine of 45 degrees, and I've got a positive Tb sine of 30 degrees. For the y components, I've got a positive Ta cos of 45 and I've got a positive Tb cos of 30 degrees. But don't forget, I've got the weight acting downwards, and so I've got a negative Fg. Let's write those out then, so that I can work with the equations. I've got a negative Ta sine of 45 degrees plus a Tb sine of 30 degrees equal to 0. If I work with that and I rearrange it, I can show that Ta is then Tb, a function of Tb, so that I can start to isolate and use that one. So it's a sine of 30 over sine of 45. And likewise from the y components, I've got a Ta cos of 45 degrees plus Tb cos of 30 degrees minus Fg, all equal to zero. So that comes from this side. And I'm going to substitute from the left. And so substituting everything in, I've got Tb is equal to 1.09 times 10 to the negative 3 newtons. Now noting that I've worked with the magnitude here. This is Tb, so it's the magnitude of the vector. And likewise, I can go back now. I'm going to substitute in and I'm going to get 7.77 times 10 to the negative 4 newtons. So it asks for what are the magnitudes of the tension in the two threads, and those are my magnitudes.